We need seed to stay alive for a long time. We don't want to give people dead seed. And to keep seed alive, we have to prepare them very carefully and to cool them. We have four copies of the 126,000 varieties. There's one collection that we keep at two degrees Celsius. The seed are predicted to live for about 40 years. We keep a second copy of everything at minus 20, where it's predicted to survive for at least 100 years. And then there are two copies of the collection that are held outside Erie, actually in different continents, where we are getting safer from environmental risks and political risks. So there's a, a copy in USA and a copy in Norway. What makes the gene bank so special is that we have so much diversity that's relevant to the needs now and in the future. So our modern plant breeders and farmers have produced the best varieties they know how to produce for today's needs. That means today's climate, today's knowledge of our nutrition, today's political environment, but even if they made the best possible variety that you can imagine for today's requirements, that's not going to be enough for tomorrow. Tomorrow the climate is going to be different, tomorrow the diseases are going to be different. As, as they say, the only thing that's constant in this world is change. We don't know what tomorrow will be, but we do know we'll have to change and adapt for tomorrow. And the genes that we require for adaptation for tomorrow are here in the gene bank. The modern varieties of rice don't have very much diversity compared with what we have here. We have a massive amount of diversity with variants for any imaginable development of the objective. Whatever the world needs, we have the raw resources to meet that here.